Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to rank in Google Maps using my method, the triangle method. Watch this. Hey, I dedicate this video to my friend, my brother, Darren Marion, who we lost on uh, November 14th, 2021. I love you and I miss you, brother. All right, guys, what is going on? Hope everybody's doing great. So in the beginning of this video, I spoke about this triangle method. What is this triangle method you speak of? Well, it's really just three things. The first thing is it's the website. It's the Google business profile. And then the third thing are what uh, customers or clients are saying about you. For example, like in reviews. So those three things, the website, the Google business profile, and what clients are saying about you. If, if the website says you sell red shoes, if the Google business profile says you sell red shoes, and people in their review are saying that you sell red shoes, you must sell red shoes, okay? So why do I say this? Because people want to, uh, uh, I, I, I get calls sometimes and people wanna rank for certain keywords, but they can't be found either on their website, they don't have any reviews mentioning those keywords for the services that they provide, and they don't have anything in the Google business profile. Now, in this video, this is just a 500 foot view, right? I'm just making you aware and, and just giving you some tips on some things that you could do right away. I'm not trying to um, you know bombard you or overwhelm you. It's just some short tips that you could do and in five or 10 minutes it's going to help your ranking. So let's take a look at this right now. You'll notice on the home page here, it says uh, garage door repair, and installation services in San Antonio, Texas, right? It says it says the the service and it says what uh, where they're from. As we scroll down, you'll see the other H tags. Once again, San Antonio, right? Where they're from and what they do. You really want to hit all these H tags. It, um, using the key, using the keyword, which is garage door repair, at, or, and where you're from. Now, you could be an electrician in Brooklyn, you could be a locksmith in Los Angeles, or you could be a uh, welder in Chicago. Just replace the keyword and the city. Take a look at your website, look at all your H tags, and what I'd like you to do is go back, and I'd like you to fix all your H tags and just on the... Um, Use the, the, the keyword that we're trying to rank for and where we're trying to rank. Now, we can't keep repeating uh, San Antonio. So San Antonio is also known as Bexar County, and it's also known as South Texas. See that? South Texas. All right. Another thing that we do on our websites is you'll notice right here, we put a little section about the city. Why is that? Well, we're showing Google what we do and where we do it. We also embed a map of just San Antonio, Texas. This isn't a GMB map, a Google business profile map. This is just a map of San Antonio. We put the Google business profile map uh, sometimes on the contact us page, right? And you'll notice this is the footer. Now, the real important thing about the footer here is that you copy the hours exactly how they're listed in the Google Business Profile. If you're open uh, Sunday through Saturday, nine to five, you have to put it the same exact way that they're in the Google Business Profile. Uh, not just, uh, you know, sun through sat, nine to five. OK, you have to list each hour, uh, each day and the hours that you have and make sure that that uh, correlates with the Google business profile. Another thing that's very important is the address. Right. Is the address. Make sure you use the same exact address that you're using on your website. You use in your Google business profile. OK, and you'll do that for every additional page. Now, that's the first part of the triangle is the website. 
The second part of the triangle is logging into the Google Business Profile and making sure that each one of these sections where you're able to add uh, what you do and where you do it, that you add that. One of the easiest things to do is click here, add an update. And this is where you could do your Google business post right here. You do your profile post, you do it right here. So you add a description, uh, San Antonio's number one garage door repair, uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, here's a button for uh, to sign up or call now. And then you add a picture of a garage door, door repair that you did in San Antonio, Texas and click post. Hey guys, if you could please like and subscribe, that really helps this channel and it helps uh, get this information out to people just like you who are looking for information on how to rank in Google Maps. So please hit like and subscribe. Thank you guys. Okay, that's something that you want to do. That's a quick, easy fix. Like I said, this is a 500 foot view. It's just things that you could do today. So you have your website, you fixed all your H tags, also, if you could do your title tag, so for example, best rated garage door repair in San Antonio, Texas, right? So you want to use what you do and where you do it. And that's for every single page. Okay. Uh, the next thing you want to do is you want to have, oh, I'm sorry, right here. You want to have your, you want to have your Google business profile in this case, their only Google business profile is garage door supplier. Now, people who follow me say, well, why didn't you put garage door supplier on the homepage? Because the client doesn't want it. He's not a garage door supplier. Unfortunately, Google only, the only category they have for garage door repair is garage door supplier. So we're not gonna put that on the homepage. So we put a link for it. Any GMB category you have, you need a page on your website for. So for example, if, if one of their categories was service establishment, you'd have to put, you'd have to have a page on the website called service establishment. establishment. You don't necessarily need to put it in the navigation. You could put it somewhere else so you could hide it, but anything you have on your Google business profile, you need to have on your website. Your services page or all the keywords that you're trying to rank for. And the areas you service are all towns. Uh, that you're trying to rank for. And you wanna start off five or 10 miles from your location, from where you're located. And that's where your Google business profile, where you got that card, where your business is located, where Google believes your business is located. You wanna just try to hit some towns that are anywhere between five, 10, 15 miles away from your town. And just create a couple of pages in a, in a circle, north, uh, south, east, and west. And then you have your contact page. The thing I love about this site and, this, and the way that we build sites is we don't confuse the customer. Meaning that when somebody comes to the website, phone number is nice and big on the right hand side. The credit cards are right underneath there. The credit cards that you offer. Where you're located is underneath the logo. And the phone number is, is replicated underneath the H tag. Right. So some people have, uh, you know, visit us on Facebook and and uh, fill out the form. And, you know, some people will have up to seven different ways to contact them all on the home page. It, it, it's too much. Make it easy for your clients just to tap to call, especially because most of your um, uh, traffic is coming from people using cell phones. Just make it easy. Tap to call. OK. All right, so that's that's step one. Step two is the Google business profile, right? So like we said, we go to the add the update and and you you know you could just add an update from there. You could also go to your profile and click that and make sure it says where you're from and what you do. So in this case, it says San Antonio's number one garage door repair and installation company. That's perfect. And go to each one. Right. And see if you could add in the keyword and where and where you're from. OK, go to each one of these of these sections. Like I said, it's 500 foot view. And then the last thing is getting reviews. When you get reviews, 
And this is just a quick story. I uh, I asked one of our best clients. I said, hey, can you give us a review? They said, sure, of course. They sent a review. They said, Mindsore is great. That doesn't really do much for our rankings, right? So if, if, if I wanted to rank in the three-pack, um, I would have asked them or I should have asked them to say, hey, I was looking for a SEO company located in uh, Tampa, Florida. I found mine, so I spoke with Brad. He, he appeared to be knowledgeable, affordable, and professional or something like that. Uh, you know, uh, my, my best customers, however, come from YouTube, not necessarily on Google. So I don't push uh, my website on Google too much because uh, people who watch my videos know what citations are they know what h tags are you know they're, they're somewhat educated in what we do so when we say we're going to do something they have an idea of what we're doing people that um find us on on google unfortunately uh basically just ask for course you know what, what do you charge and you know my brother-in-law could do it or something like that I, I don't know so that's the reason why i i don't push my my service in in the google three pack i'm not saying that you shouldn't but for my service, I'm more of a national brand. I don't have to do business in in my town, all right? I'd rather do business throughout throughout the country. If you're a garage door repair, it's very hard to drive to California from Tampa to repair somebody's spring, right? Okay, you get the idea. Okay, so guys, like I said, that's the 500-foot view. We're selling red shoes in Tampa. It needs to say it on your website. It needs to say it in your Google business profile. And your customers need to say, you sell red shoes in Tampa. With that, I just want to say thank you very much for watching uh, watching my channel and, and making comments. You know, you guys are great. And if you can please uh, uh, just like and subscribe to my channel, that, that would be fantastic. Be good to your family. Kiss your wife. Kiss your kids. And we will catch you next time. Thank you.